Okay, so uh, you mentioned just a second ago that you come from L.A., where, where homelessness sure. is objectively way worse than it is. And so Definitely. one of the purposes of Keep Dallas Safe is, is trying to wake up the city council and the other people to prevent it from getting that bad. Because it's gotten, I don't know, how long have you been here? I've only been here for like two years. Really? Yeah. Do you, in your time here, do you think you've seen homelessness get better or worse? Um, I mean, worse, for worse. sure. I mean, everything's going up in price, you know what I mean? So definitely a lot worse. Yeah. You know, with rent, gas, food, everything's going up, mm -hmm. you know, so. Do you think, uh, so do you give homeless people, whenever you encounter them, do you give them money or food or anything like that? Uh, you know, if I'm like, if we're by a restaurant and stuff, like I'll invite them in, like get them a little combo, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. But I stay away from getting them food, or I mean not food, money, mm -hmm. just because I don't know where it's going. I'd rather know that they're getting fed over like them using it for other things, you know? I'm not gonna say what those things may be, yeah, yeah, but, yeah. you know. That's so true about not wanting to fund somebody's bad habits or whatever, exactly. wherever the money may go, like exactly. you said. This is the last question I have for All you. Right. So the city of Dallas has this policy. It's the same policy employed in LA and other large cities throughout the country called Housing First. And the idea is the best way to help a homeless person, according to them, is that you wanna get them in housing as fast as possible, yeah. let them stabilize, and then they get their life back on track. Mm -hmm. Sounds good, but the problem is that this program doesn't have any work or sobriety requirements or any mental health requirements. So a lot of times what happens is these people get in there and the city's paying for their, their housing and stuff, but then they end up right back on the street because they, they don't get any actual help. Right. Do you think that the city is enabling vagrants and what do you think would be a better way to handle it? I mean, the saying goes, you know, you could take a horse to water, but you can't make them drink it. You know, mm -hmm. they're adults. You know, you would hope that they can, like, fend for themselves. You know, that you give them, like, a roof over their head and they can do the rest, you know, mm -hmm. from there. Get cleaned up, whatever. But at the end of the day, people have their bad habits. And if they continue to do them, then that's on them. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You can only help so much. Mm -hmm. And, you know, yeah. that's as far as... As far as it goes, you know, like housing, that's everything, you know. Mm -hmm. You can do a lot from there, just having a roof over your head, you right. know. Get yourself cleaned up, shaved up, all that, you know. Go to an interview from there, but a lot of people don't want to make the move, mm -hmm. you know. So it's just. So do you think it would be better if the city said, hey, we'll, we'll give you this housing, but you have to, we have to make sure you're sober, we have to make sure that you're actually trying to work? Yeah, you know, like POs, like they always making sure, you know, the felon, ex-felon, whatever you want to be. Yeah. They're always making sure they're, you know, they got jobs or they're doing good. Why don't we do the same for the people that are, you know, hella homeless? Yeah, that's a really good, that's a really good comparison. I've never you know heard that before. Yeah. So.